This is Commander Shepard. Welcome to RoboFett's Bounty. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the second part of my Ninja Turtle physical media collection. On this one we look over all the movies from theatrical to TV and like the Netflix kind of made films. And at the end of this video we'll do a little bit of a ranking of my favourite of the movies. So I hope you like this video. Let's turn the camera around and let's get started. So let's start off from the original movie. This is the OG still book. I've got a little bit of a dent there, unfortunately. This was sent to me by my very, very good friend, Lee Eels. Now this is the film that started the whole Ninja Turtles craze. I remember going to a market as a kid and seeing a VHS copy. It looked like a, a cartoon series. They had like cartoon ninjas on. Took it home and it was the film. I didn't know they even made the film. But yeah, I only had half the film on it, unfortunately. But yeah, this film is phenomenal. But is it my favourite? I guess you'll find that later on. Let's open up the still. Let's remove the disc. So there we have the inner artwork. Great, great still. There's not going to be many films to go for in this video because there isn't many films. But you know, love the original. Very, very dark. Still holds up today. Now we don't have any CGI suits like the Bay films, which are good in their own mind. But this is where it began. The original Turtles film. And that post artwork is phenomenal. We also have the German release. This one was gifted to me also. I believe this has got an alternate ending, which wasn't in the original theatrical release. We've got reversible sleeve. There is the shredder there. Also a copy of the OG. Next we have the Trilogy. Not sure if these two have had singular releases. I know there's a scratch and sniff version coming out very soon of Secret Views. But here we have the Triple Pack. Each title's got their, you know, Turtles 1, Turtles 2, Turtles 3, Turtles in Time. Not sure if that was the title back in the day. I know they did a video game on the SNES called Turtles in Time. I think that was the inspiration. There is kind of a bit of time travel in that. So what do you think of these films? Secret Views, I've got a lot of time for it. You know, number one was, I think they played it more, very safe in the second one because the first one was quite dark. So they took the, the nunchucks off um, Michelangelo because it was deemed a little bit too violent and they really toned up the humour. Really like the villains in this as well. They bring Super Shredder. <laughs> Bit, bit of a spoiler there, but yeah, Super Shredder's in it. You also got two, you haven't got Bebop and Rocksteady, which everyone thought in the silhouettes were Bebop and Rocksteady, but Kevin Eastman really didn't like them characters. They were invented for the cartoon show. So in Secret News, we've got two characters called Tokar and Raza. The cells will no longer hold them. <clears throat> Remove the bar. Huh? It's time they learn who their master is. Wolf, snapping turtle, incredible. Yes, come forward. Attack me if you will. When it is over, you will call me master. Really not a fan of Turtles 3. Back in the day, took my cousin to see it in the cinema. 
never seen all the way through. You know, they had a good premise to Turtles in time. They brought the original actor that played Casey Jones back for this film. Underused. No no man, main real bad guy. No shredder. Could have hunting in it potentially. Just just a really boring film. And the costumes, they're as bad as Next Mutation. The live action show we had, which I showed in the last video. Very underrated film. Really like TMNT. Now, this is probably the sequel to, well, I think it's regarded as a sequel to Ninja Turtles, Three Turtles in Time. It's where these turtles have gone their separate ways. Leonardo disappeared to do some training. Michelangelo's kind of like a party guy, goes to parties and there's a pizza delivery guy. Donatello's a tech guy. Sir, uh, sir, uh, sir. Did you turn the computer on? Have you plugged it in? Yeah, that would help. No, I'm not playing hard to get. I'm telling you, sir, it's not that kind of phone line. Oh, I'm not your enemy. I'm just Donnie, your friendly IT tech support, here to help you 24 hours a day, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> and Raphael's kind of, the, I think it's called the Night Watcher, who's a vigilante at night that hunts down criminals. Looks like it's just you and me, Shaggy. Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. Much. Really underrated film. You know, I have issues with them make, bringing characters into the series that weren't lore. You got some stone generals that turn up that were brought back to life. I don't want really to go into much detail in this film. It even starts off with the Shredder being defeated. So obviously that's a homage to the original films. Really fun film. And the CGI is up to date and it's got a fantastic, fantastic fight. Potentially with Leonardo and Raph, you know, their tension, love hate relationships built up for many shows and many films, but you really see them do care in this one. Hey, don't push it, Leo. You can't leave home and come back expecting us to fall in line again like your little soldiers. Hey, I was training, training to be a better leader for you. Why do you hate me for that? And whoever said I wanted to be led? I'm better off calling my own shots now. Get used to it. You aren't ready. You're impatient and hot-tempered, and more importantly, I'm better than you. <laughs> oh, you know something, big brother? I'd have to disagree with you on that one. Don't do this, Raph. I'm done taking orders. So that's the TMNT movie. We also had a film called Turtles Forever that was a part of the 2003 animated line that is a part of the box that i've got but i haven't got a physical copy of it and it was a tv movie so we'll do a quick shout out on that one next we have the bay film this is the original teenage mutant ninja turtles i think they should just call it maybe ninja turtles just drop the teenager from in there because these are beasts it's another gift from my good friendly it's a really really nice still book so there we have the front the spine open it up and there we have the back. Get some focus in there. Or not. There we go. We've got Raph on the inside. So we can get his disc out without breaking it. There we go. So there we have Raph. And Leo in the background. With the, yeah, Leo. With the parachuting out of the plane. Fun movie. Although you've got Shredder that's more like Megatron. You think you're their father? But he's, he's got to be that kind of size because of how big the turtles are. I really enjoyed this film. You now it's got the bay explosions, but more turtles. I'm going to shoot this film. There we have Michael Bay's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would say an underrated film. Didn't do as well as the original one in the cinema. But it was member berries. You know, so much, so many childhood dreams come true in this film. We had Krang, we had Bebop from Rocksteady. Shredder was a bit underused. You had the startings of Back to Stockman, which I think if the third film happened, would have led to Back to Stockman being the fly. Turtles looked a bit different. If you look at the, I don't know if you can really tell there. The faces are more rounded, more like the original. A fun film. A lot of characters underused. I don't really like what I did with Casey Jones. Which is Cal Bunker in the back. And the silver discs. 
April was as annoying as ever, but you can't beat a bit of Vern. It, it was quite fun in this film. Shame we never had a third one. I do really like Out of the Shadows. Ooh. My Batman. Man. We have another one from Leah. Surprise hit, Batman versus Ninja Turtles. No one knew this was going to be good. The comic's really good, but this is such an amazing film. A wicked fight with Shredder and Batman as well. I think Shredder has the upper hand on the bat. No tricks, no gadgets. I promised he would die if you stood in my way. Got some quite fun mutations. I think Harley mutates and so does Joker. But check this film out. There we go, the inside. Really nice still book. That is Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. Next we have The Rise of the TMNT. This is a Netflix made film. But when you watch it, it feels like it should have got a theatrical release. This film is phenomenal. I didn't like the show originally, but after giving the whole series a look and a watch over, it's very, very good. The animation is slick. The characters are very good. It's got a lot of heart, this film. Find the key, stop the crank. What you some say? Say it. Find the key, stop the crank. I don't want to lose you. Casey, it's not about me. They found us! My key! Personally, I feel this film is better than Mutant Mayhem. It's got a Krang invasion, they're evil characters. Um, Shredder's not in it, because obviously he potentially disappeared in, in the show. But it's a, it's a continuation of the show, which they canned way too early. So there we have the Blu-ray of the Rise movie. So the last one we're going to look at is Mutant Mayhem. This is the newest incarnation of the Ninja Turtles. I'm not the biggest fan of this movie, but it's not made for me. Not really much more to say about this. Bebop and Rocksteady, I believe they've done them Miss Justice in this. They're good guys in this. Hopefully they redeem themselves in part two. We have got a two series animated show coming out next year, which should be hopefully be good to lead up to the, the second film. But I didn't like it. Maybe I need to give it another couple more views. I've only seen it twice. Not a fan. That's the Mutant Mayhem. So now, we've got all our films, how do I rank them? So it's time to rank these films. My least favourite Ninja Turtles film, I think it's quite obvious, is going to be Turtles in Time. It wasted my time watching that film, let's hope it don't waste yours. I think after that I would say, if I were to rank them, we're going to go for Mutant Mayhem. Not my Ninja Turtles, I know a lot of people like it, just it didn't do it for me. So that's that one. It's a quick ranking, just very, very quickly. Then we're going to have the Bay film, the OG one. It's, it's pretty good, but there is better tell films. Followed by Batman Ninja Turtles. Great film, but we've got better ones here. Then we've got another Bay film. Out of the Shadows. Really like all the characters coming back. Love people from like Steady Krang. But we, we, we're, not, we're never going to get a third film, so fortunately, it drops down the list. We have TMNT. Great film. Need a sequel. There's plans for a sequel. Never happened. Great toy line. And the game was pretty good also. We're going to go to this box set now. And we're going to say, Secret Views. It's almost in my top three. Well, it is in my top three. So we have Secret Use, top three. Number two, my second favorite Ninja Turtles film is Rise of the TMNT. Please watch this, it's on Netflix. If you're subscribed, watch it, it's a great film. 
at number one, it's obvious, it's going to be the original Ninja Turtles. Hellbunker. Before we go, I thought I'd show something else of my collection, which I don't think I've showed off before. Is this. Anyone remember what this is? So it started off, I think, in the Sun newspaper, where you'd spend, I think, 50p, and you've got two coins, and you have to go into Woolworths, I think it was, to pick these up for 60 pence each. So what this is, is the official Ninja Turtles medal collection. As you open it up, you've got Bebop and Moxelli there, and the turtles, and we have the coins. On the back, it will show you the different coins available. We also had a part two to this, we had a wall poster, which hung on your wall, which also had additional coins, different ones from the original. So before we go, let's turn around and take a look at these coins. So here we have the metal collection. You can still get these quite cheap on eBay. As it flips up, if you see if we can get one of these out to show you how they come. So there is the shredder there. Bungo on the back. I'm sure a lot of people had these, so let's get a close up on these coins. So we have Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, we have Krang in the android body there, we have the Turtle Wagon, Blimp, April, Splinter, Shredder, Rocksteady, Bebop, General Drag, he's one of the rock soldiers and a foot soldier, and the last but not least, Casey Jones. Really cool set, and it's lasted all this time. Let's check the poster out. So here we go. We have Turtle Copter, Blimp Glider, Leonardo, Robot Cop, Raphael, a bit dirty that one. Cheapskate. A bit rusted I think all these years. Michelangelo. We've got a sewer dragster. A mouser. We've got another Krang here. Out the body. We have the Technodrome. We have Donatello. Let's pan out again. That's the poster one. I've got to give some of these coins a bit of a clean to be honest. They are very very dirty. And just a little teaser of an up upcoming video. This is the box, which I'll be doing an unboxing of very soon. Oh dear. Where are all these gonna go? Uh, who put the